everyone welcome back to sweet yellow house it's time for our weekly craft video and today i have six projects for you some easy and some a little bit more detailed so let's get started project one i actually thrifted these candlesticks uh some time ago probably a couple of weeks ago and then of course i thrifted those as well um i was going to paint these candlesticks but realized that i really did just love the simplicity of the wood so i also uh as i'm rummaging around my craft room found these little i don't know what they the official name for these are but um i found these two which i hauled with all the other little globe things um and they just looks so perfect uh, it's like the perfect combination between rustic and elegance and so i glued these together with some gorilla clear glue and that's how those turned out so simple great um impact the it's just they're beautiful i just really love how these turned out such a simple project but just uh like a just a big big change so project two is actually going to be this pumpkin here i bought this pumpkin for a different project but ended up uh, not using it so i had to do something with it so i took it outside painted it with the bare matte black paint uh, spray paint and then let that dry when i brought it in i grabbed my amy howard's uh, cracked patina and i'm gonna put a little bit of water in there looking back at it i probably wouldn't have done that it just seemed like it beat it up a little bit too much on this uh, pumpkin for me i don't know if it i think it might have been just the way that it reacted with the spray paint but nonetheless I uh, went over it a few times just to kind of give it some layers and then I let that dry. Once that was dry, I grabbed the DIY, DIY cottage core in crockery, uh, gave that a little mix because this actually has a top coat built into it so it needs a little mixing when you open it. And I just went around and did um, a coat on the pumpkin. I don't want to go over it too much because it is kind of like a crackle finish that we're doing and if you do that then you'll kind of lose that. With the cracked patina it's not so much a cracked look, uh, it's more of like maybe a peeling look I want to say. So. Um, I just dried that with my heat gun and then turned it over and went and did the top of that. One quick coat, I'm not looking for full coverage of course, I just want it to look super rustic. Once I was uh, done with that, I went back over with my heat gun and kind of um, just heated that through. I did let it sit for a couple hours just to make sure because I was putting on this um, transfer so um i've had this for a long while i'm not sure if it's discontinued or not but i wanted to give it a use i really love the flowers um on this transfer it's from iod and um so i just pulled it out and started cutting it apart i didn't want to use all of the elements that were there just some of it so i just cut away uh, what i wanted to use and began to apply those onto the pumpkin you're going over some ridges here so you're gonna have a little bit of cracking that happens on um the transfer but i do have a way of fixing that which i'm going to show you right now so i grabbed little black dress from diy paint and i'm going to get a very small um, thin paintbrush and i just go in and find the cracks there and kind of fill them in uh where i think it looks good with the black paint and you can't even it covered up 98 percent of what happened here and you can't even tell that <laughs> that that it happened at all so while that was uh drying i kind of set that aside and i went in and grabbed some of my molds random molds from um i think these are from uh, prima and i grabbed some 
uh, gold mica and I just coated the inside of those um, molds and now I'm going to use some uh, resin it's a two-part resin equal amounts and then you just mix them together this is a long uh, setting resin and I wanted to do that because I needed some time obviously to get it all filled um, in these three molds so I mixed up the amount that I thought I needed um, I'm not a good uh, measurer as far as to figure out what I would need to fill these up so I just kind of guessed um, and then I'm using my heat gun and this actually will pop a lot of the bubbles that are in there but it'll actually loosen that resin up and kind of make it a little bit uh, more uh, pourable easier to do that so I just filled those up and then I'm gonna set those aside um, for four to six hours not too long because I actually want them to still be bendable um, so this is something that happened I pulled them out and they were still quite bendable as you can see here and I was um, going to stick them down at that moment my husband comes in and says hey let's go eat dinner and so then those got set aside i went to go eat with my husband and when uh, we came back it was quite late and so they got a little bit stiffer uh, for me but you see I'm just kind of cutting these apart as well because I want to make smaller pieces out of the bigger one I just decide on a a pattern that'll fit and then uh, once I decide on that then I'm gonna go and go ahead and glue those down um, I did use my heat gun to kind of get these to be a little bit more pliable so that I could work them around that curved pumpkin um, and then uh, glued them. I put the glue on, put the heat gun on and kind of worked them around the curve and then I taped those down so when they cooled off they would cool off you know uh, in place like that. So I set all of that aside and let that dry and then once that was all dry I grabbed my big top because I do want to seal in that um, transfer that's there and uh, I grabbed the the first brush I grabbed was a lot smaller um, and that was just so that I could get that big top in between all of that filigree and then I just went back over it with a large a larger brush just sealing in all of those um, where the transfer is and the paint and everything the paint has a sealant in it but it was just easier for me to go over everything and this was so beautiful it gave me some harry potter vibes as you can see my uh little wand in there and um i thought this just came out so lovely let me know what y'all think about this if it's just too extra or if if you think it's as beautiful as i do Project three is we're back to a really simple project and I uh, thrifted these little four wicker balls, but I am going to do a, um, a woodland theme in my uh, decorating for fall this year. So I'm kind of getting all of my supplies together. So this is just as simple as grabbing that glue gun putting some glue down, having some really great green, beautiful moss, and just covering those all around. So what I do is I do a rough cover, um, which means that I just put the glue down and then squish all the moss to it that I can. Uh, be careful that you don't burn yourself. And then I go back in and I'm just pulling and cutting the loose pieces that are just too loose and then gluing down anything um, extra there that needs to be glued down and it's just that simple and you pay so much money for these kind in the store when I thrifted that bag for a couple of bucks and I had the moss on hand so um, I think they, that green color is just gorgeous 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 Hey everyone, 
and welcome back to Sweet Yellow House, and this is part of my blog. Um, I went today and got the new IOD um, release, and so, um, I don't know, this looks like it's, I'm looking at it weird. Anywho, is this, anyhow. Um, so, because they actually, the, um, the, uh, suppliers or the, um, the stockist already had them, um, on their shelves, um, as they did the release today, you were able to actually go and get them. So, um, I took my son and we got in the car and we went. And um, I watched the release in the morning and was blown away. Um, there's a couple of things that I didn't get uh, just because um, I really didn't um, need all of it or didn't want all of it. Um, so, um, I'll, but I'll show you what I got. I got the... I got the Hello Pumpkin uh, mold here, and it actually, um, it's gorgeous. Like, on camera it's nice, but like, just the detail of it, it's just amazing. It's just um, gorgeous. So, and there's really nothing else like it on the market right now as far as like molds and stuff, you know, like pumpkins, that kind of stuff. Um, I will say last year for their actual Christmas molds, um, they were nice, but I, um, you know, and I used them and there was a lot of, but I was kind of like, I didn't really like the whole, uh, I just felt like they were just, they were not sparkly. <laughs> they 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 were nice, and I and I like them. But I just thought that this year's uh, release was just is just amazing. The tree alone, um, and the sisters show how they did the tree or someone, uh, someone someone over there did the tree, and they did actually lights through it, and that was pretty amazing. Um, I'm sure that, um, there's going to be so many amazing things that come out with that. So, um, this is really awesome. I felt like, um, these, I'm, um, I'm actually thinking about getting a second one of these only so I can use one for baking. Um, cause I just think that these are just the sweetest little uh, gingerbread and then the fact that they actually have the whole family and then the little dog and stuff like that so I think that I might like I said actually get a second one uh, one for crafting and one for baking um, I do like to do a lot of holiday baking and stuff like that um, and a couple of years ago I think it might have been the first Christmas I was here we did a big um like hot the cocoa candy bar in the kitchen and of course um you know the kids loved it but my husband I think was more jazz than anybody to have it <laughs> in the house he just uh thought that it was super amazing so um okay so as far as the stamps go that these um I think I got all the models that they had available um, and then as far as the stamps go, I just got this set, which is the Winter Adornment, um, and these are super lovely. I just, um, am, wow, wow, uh, amazing, the detail on them. Um, and just, you know, I'm thinking like, you know, on the borders of, you know, mats for pictures and you can definitely use some of the transfers like, you know, this transfer, um, with this, 
um, is super, would be, like, uh, that's the thing, it's like they're all interchangeable, um, which is just amazing. So, if you look at uh, this really closely, like, this here, it's, I can't, I can't say enough. So, um, I did get three of, three of the, um, the, uh, transfer, uh, booklets. Um, and like I said, I didn't get all the stamps. Uh, the key, the, the little, um, kittens and the dogs really cute and as you know I'm, I'm a dog person um but i just didn't feel like i would use them um i you know and i have thought that before about some things and then went back and got them so there's that possibility so anyhow i got one of the candy cane cottage um and these are amazing um this color combination with the reds and the um pinks beautiful so so beautiful so beautiful and, and then you know the biggest problem that i'm having right now is that because these are limited edition i'm totally like I don't want to use them i because i'm like i don't want to use them because i won't be able to get them again so but I know I have to. I know that I want to. So, uh, but again, like I, you know, so, so I bought one of these and then I bought this Holly Glenn, which is gorgeous. Um, all the tutorials that I've seen, um, that everybody do with these are amazing. They're gorgeous. The coloring is amazing. The, the, uh, detail on these are amazing. Um, they're beautiful. As you know, like I really love owls and mushrooms and stuff. And I've done a couple of projects with that, with the canister and the owl and, um, the, um, the picture frames that I did, the round picture frames that I did with the owl and the big mushroom and stuff. Um, so you guys know like this stuff up my alley way up my alley so i am just in awe and loving these amazing 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 if you haven't gone to get in your car to go get it get in your car go get it okay go get them go get them go get them go get them i am going to show a couple of things that um because uh if these are something because I know they can be quite expensive, um, especially I've had a lot of uh, people say that, you know, um, that they would, you know, invest in the malls before they would do these, the transfers and things, only because, um, you know, it's not, it's something that they're not going to keep themselves maybe or re they can't reuse it. And that's understandable, totally understandable. Um, so I am going to have a couple of projects where I'm going to use very similar type art, um, but from the, um, the uh, oh my God, I can't think of it, the graphics fairy. Like, uh, you know, you can get a lot of that same vibe um, from a lot of the art that she has there. So just saying. Um, and then I got actually two of these of the, um, the Fairy Merry Christmas. I actually got two of these because, again, like I said, the mushrooms and the very, like, all up my alley. So um, just probably about a week ago, um, I was talking to my sister about, because I always do my entryway first, um, when I start decorating, that just kind of sets the tone for me of like which direction I'm going to go in for my home decorating. And the entryway, um, like I said, I tend to do that up a little bit more only because it's the first thing you see when you come into the house. Unless, of course, you know, you're my kids and my husband, then you come in through the garage all the time, even though the front door is right there. <laughs> so, 
Um, anyhow, um, I was going to, I wanted to do it in a woodland theme for this year, for, for fall and for Christmas. Like, they read my mind. Like, they, they totally read my mind. So, um, thank you, IOD, for making my decorating easy this year. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I am so looking forward to using all of this and the projects. And sitting there watching the, um, you know, all of the creators creating with this new stuff has just really kind of... Um, lit the fire under me. I have been kind of in a slump lately, uh, just because I've been dealing with a lot of health issues. Um, and I've been in and back and forth to the doctor and stuff several times. And, um, so for me, because my doctor, my doctors are like three hours away. Um, you know, one way. So driving to the doctor, um, really is, takes it out of me by the time I get there and get back and then having to take somebody with me, um, that can, you know, help me drive if necessary. Um, you know, and then dealing with traffic because I'm going more into like, um, very heavy populated areas. I'm going to Stanford and, you know, San Jose and Santa Cruz and, so, um, I've just been kind of all in my head and just really been, um, kind of like, you know, like trying to absorb a lot of it, but not really absorbing it. I guess just kind of like trying to figure out, like, I guess how I'm supposed to uh, go about processing it. So, um, but. I am, you know, the only way that I know how to do things is address it. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to address it, you know, um, head on, you know, that's how I am. If, you know, I, I'm not going to be afraid of something, um, although it is quite scary, but I'm not going to be afraid of it. I'm just going to address it and deal with it as the situation evolves or whatever. So thank you for um, sticking with me and the few videos that I have put out and, you know, me really just trying to be um, uh get some therapy from my create, you know, like being creative and stuff like that. So I have been thrifting. My sister's been here with me for uh, a week and she just went home the other day. And, um, that has helped me a lot. She's, she's helped me a lot. She's gone thrifting with me and just kind of like going over crafts and doing crafts and kind of like, you know, um, uh, just kind of, being here with me just kind of, it helps, it helps me a lot. So anyhow, um, I am going to get moving on using some of these fantastic products and, um, we'll just see where the wind takes me. And I do have a video that I'm finishing up the, the, some of the touches on my products and on my items that I made. Um, and hopefully I'll be getting that video out really soon. Um, I really am trying to, um, you know, up my, um, my, my stuff, my videos and trying to get more out. Uh, but like I said, it's hard when you're taking days out of your schedule to travel and go through all of that. So once, um, those settle down, which is in the next week or so, um, I will be able to be home more and kind of like, um, you know, because, you know, when I feel like this, I completely, I guess, like out of control, like my first go to is to come into my craft room, shut the door and just 
leave it all out there because that helps me. Um, it gets my mind into creating instead of dwelling. So um, my other one is to go into my kitchen and um, bake and cook and all of that. But it's still very hot here, so I don't want to heat up my, my kitchen all that much. We've had some really great days, but uh, like today, like, Oh, uh, the air hasn't been on for like three days, three or four days, and it's been really nice, but today it's back up to like 91, so, which is tolerable, but, um, it's going to be like high 90s for the next couple of days, so hopefully we'll drop, uh, some after that. I have some really great, uh, thrifts, um, that I have found over the last couple of weeks, um, some really exciting um, items that I cannot wait to start um, working on. Um, and so, and plus two, I'm getting ready for my show in October. It's October uh, 14th is, my, is the day of the show. Uh, anybody that lives in this area, in the Valley, California Valley, you know, Modesto, Merced, Turlock, Lodi, all of that. The show is October 14th in Modesto, um, and it's called Vintage on the Yard. Something like that. Vintage on the Yard or Vintage in the Yard. Um, and, um... So look it up. I think they have a Facebook group too. So, um, and there's something that that show they put on every quarter. Uh, so that's like, they'll have, they have this one. And then I, I don't know if the next one will be in January. Um, since they have it outside, I'm not, I'm not I'm quite sure about that. Maybe they'll wait till spring. Um, but, and then also too, when I went to go get my items, um, the lady that runs the shop where I wanted to have my, uh, been waiting for a booth. Well, a booth is open, but here we go. Um, I was talking to her and she's moving and sold the business building all of that to someone else. And they've now cut down the size of booths that they offer. Um, where I think they had like a small booth for like 150 or 180, I want to say, but now they're, they're only offering two and one's like 500 and something and the least expensive one is like 350 or 380 something like that so um i don't know that's i don't know if i want to do that so that's something that i need to consider but i told her that i would wait till after my show because i guess i just want to see really like how my stuff does um you know, I get a lot of really great positive feedback, but I'm still not getting a whole lot of sales from my website. So I know I probably need to do like, I don't know, like I see a lot of these other people and they do like their sales online, like they hold up and talk about and all of that. But um, I don't know. I just have to see. So, uh, all right. Well, um, it was a nice chat. And I will get back to it. All right. We're going to move along with project four. And project four, I'm going to start out with the IOD retro stamp set. And what I'm doing with this is I'm going to make some uh, like patterns to follow to cut some um, fabric out so I'm just going to stamp the letters that I need um, with some black IOD <laughs> stamp that's just what uh, ink that's just what I have um, but you can use anything really for this if um, you haven't used your stamps from them before you know that you need to uh, kind of sand them so that it kind of uh, gives it a little tooth to absorb that um, that ink so once I have those all stamped out I am gonna cut them out uh, with just a regular pair of scissors and cut along there um, and then I am going to 
um, pin them down onto a piece of felt that I got from Hobby Lobby and I think these are like 33 cents a sheet uh, for it's like an 8 by 10 sheet of felt I think um, they're not that expensive this is a really inexpensive way to um, upcycle um, I've had these pillows for about two years almost three years and I got these from home goods and they are from Martha Stewart they're a set of two and I believe I paid eight dollars for these so once I have those letters cut out, I'm just using my glue gun to glue these down. These are not to be like laid over there for display, so I'm not worried about them kind of getting damaged. And then I have these leaves that I got from the dollar store. I'm going to peel off, peel off the wire that is attached here. And then I'm just going to glue those down in place where I think they look good. I'm going to do that for each pillow um, on uh, either corner there and just it's just as easy as that. This is like a, a nice like way to upcycle some old pillows that you have that you don't they're you're they're not ready to go away anywhere but you do kind of want to update that look and I think plain pillows is what I started with and now I have some really cute fall pillows that are kind of a novelty looking um, home decor that I think these are just so cute really really cute I was I was way happy with these it's always the simple stuff that makes me smile and so these pillows um, did that for me Project 5 is another pumpkin, but we're going to do it in a little bit different way. Um, I'm grabbing um, this green color, which is Salty Kiss from DIY. And I'm just going to paint this pumpkin, making sure that I get full coverage. Uh, once I do a, um, a coat, then I'm just using my heat gun to dry that and I do about two coats um, on this pumpkin just making sure that I have full coverage and using my heat gun to dry those dry in between those coats so I set those aside to dry and now I'm going to make some molds the botanist floral mold from um, Prima and I'm going to use this creative paper clay and I think by the time it was all said and done I actually made two full um, two full molds uh, whole complete molds of this so I just made one complete took it out and made the um, the next one and then uh, I decided to go ahead and place these onto my pumpkin and I used tight bond to do that now just my paint is dry um, on my pumpkin I made sure of that and um, before I started placing the um, the molds down and I'm just taping those into place so that they don't slide down uh, the pumpkin So I set that aside and let the glue and the clay dry and and here I show because uh, once I set the first ones up I decided that it needed more so I made the next one. So here I'm doing my old trick is that I'm putting some caulk in a syringe and then using that syringe to fill any kind of cracks or holes um, from the clay. So I let that set up about 20 minutes and now I'm going to grab my salty kiss again and do a complete cover over everything over the mold and the pumpkin again and the pumpkin as well. Once that's dry DIY white wax and what I'm doing here is that I'm not doing a whole coat over the pumpkin. I'm just taking it each individual mold putting it on and wiping it off with a soft uh, t-shirt material type cloth. I'm not 
putting it over everything because I want to make sure that I'm able to take that uh, wax back. So once I got everything covered, as you see here, I'm grabbing my Jolie finishing wax, which is just a clear wax and on a brush. And I'm just working that white uh, wax down even further um, and but I don't want it to be like you know it's also helping me remove some of the areas that I thought really got uh, that white wax was just a little too much so I went around the whole pumpkin with the uh, clear wax wiping it back with a t-shirt material and then once I was happy with that I grabbed gold gilding wax and just using my finger, I'm going over all of these uh, molds. Um, normally, I do a really light coat, but with this, I was really heavy handed with that gilding wax. Um, I really wanted it to stand out. So I wanted to create a little bit of shadow around the, um, the molds and also kind of like in those indentations of the pumpkin. So I'm just putting that in and then I'm using a clean brush to kind of fan that out so that shadowing is not so heavy. Once I got that all where I was satisfied, I then took that gilding wax again and went over the stem of the pumpkin. I did, I waited to the end because I knew I was going to be holding that pumpkin and twisting and turning and I didn't want that all wore off by the time it was over. And this is how that turned out. I just, I was kind of iffy on that salty kiss, but after seeing how it all came together, I just, just beautiful. It, it just came out beautiful. So I hope y'all like it. Project six is a door basket, flower basket instead of a wreath. Um, and you guys have seen me work on this basket before where I just kind of took it down. It was full of a bunch of stuff. So um, I did stuff it full of like faux uh, vegetables and stuff, but I really thought that this would make a really nice um, basket for the front door. And again, uh, with the woodland theme, um, I just went to work. So these flowers I actually got from the thrift store. Um, so I and they're perfect for what I'm using them for. Um, so I just cut down my foam and filled the basket with that. And grabbing my heat gun or my glue gun, sorry, I am going to do the same type of technique that I did with the moss balls on this, on the moss spheres, I guess is a better word. Um, and I'm not going to do the whole front of the basket. I'm going to leave some of that basket material to kind of shine through. I want it to really look rustic and woodland and have a lot of texture. So I just began to fill my basket. I put in a little small faux pumpkin. I used one of those really cute mushrooms that I um, got from Hobby Lobby. And then I glued some ferns down um uh i put some inside with the flowers but i also glued a little pieces on the outside as well loving this came out beautiful um and this is going to be my hanger for fall for my house So thank you all for uh, spending your time with me and for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon.